What's up guys? It's Nate here. Uh, today we are going to take a look at the history of Ghostface in action figure form. Um, now I do want to clarify that I'm trying to hit everything not just limited to actual action figures or dolls. I want to get everything. I want to get the figures. I want to get the dolls, the bobbleheads. Basically anything Ghostface in figure form. Now, with the help of Douglas at Drown Boy Productions, as well as RJ over at Fun World, um, I do believe I have a complete list of all released figures. All right, guys. So first up, the very first time in history that Ghostface was released in figure form was in 1999 with the Horror Headliners XL line that was released by Equity Marketing Limited. I'm not sure if they're even still in existence. Um, and it was sold exclusively at Spencer Gifts. There was a whole line of horror figures. They kind of look like bobbleheads that don't bobble. Um, but this is in fact, as verified by Fun World, the first time Ghostface was released in a figure form. RJ himself at Fun World, RJ Torbert, actually wrote the Ghostface poem on the side of the box, which, looking back, makes perfect sense because as we all know, RJ loves to post riddles and rhymes and poems on Twitter uh, to kind of have fun with the fans. Um, it was also the first major licensing deal for Ghostface as a property. Um, so, very first, 1999, Horror Headliners XL. Guys, I do also want to mention really quick, I do have a lot of these figures. I don't have all of them. Um, but a lot of my stuff like that, because I'm a, I'm a mint in box collector for the most part, um, and it just takes up a lot of room as you can see, uh, <laughs> um, a lot of my stuff is in storage actually. So, uh, that's why a lot of this is going to be through photographs. So just, just letting you guys know. All right, guys. So next up we have the movie maniacs series two line by McFarlane toys. These were the next version of Ghostface, released in the same year, September, 1999. Uh, this is an interesting one when I started doing the research on it because there's actually three different versions of the ghost face figure. Now, one of those versions is simply different packaging, but nonetheless, it's a completely different version for all you collectors out there. So there's actually three different versions. And a long time ago, when I was doing an article for Horror Hound Magazine about the scream mask itself back in i believe 2011 um in speaking with a couple people over at horror hound uh i was basically told that uh there was um a lot of issues with the mcfarlane uh the mcfarlane ghost face figure and that there was um like legal issues um, which I had never known. Now, they didn't elaborate. I didn't ask more questions. And I just kind of, like, packed it in my head and kind of forgot about it. Um, I was able to reach out to RJ at Fun World to see if he could give some insight to the fans on what those issues were. So, guys, here it is. This is a quote that RJ Torbert over at Fun World was nice enough to give me for this video for you guys in regards to some of the issues with that figure. I want to make sure that I don't misquote anything he said, so I'm actually going to read it exactly as he typed it. Yes, this was the a major licensing deal I did for Ghostface, and I worked directly with Todd McFarlane. There was an issue that I don't think is necessary to get into all these years later. However, I will say that I stopped the Scream version for a few reasons. One of them was that I felt it was more important for the company to establish the name Ghostface, especially during the initial phase of the licensing period on the property. So there you have it. Kind of vague, but RJ is a man of mystery. What can we say? Um, no, so there was an issue with the figure that was a major issue um, that was part of the reason why there were 
three separate versions of the figure. So the first version, again, this was released in September of 1999. This is the original version right here. Um, it is standard, the Movie Maniacs packaging. It has Scream at the top, Ghost Face down the side. And one of the things that the Movie Maniacs figures came with at the time were these little poster displays that had a miniature poster of the film that the character in the figure form was representing um so the first initial run had a miniature scream one theatrical one sheet with it the second version that was released had the same back uh, the same card back scream at the top ghost face on the side however replacing the scream mini poster was an actual miniature poster that just simply said ghost face on it in bright green and the ghost face mask was glowing green so that's the second version. The third version and the final version released came with the Ghostface poster. It was all the same, but the card back is different. And in this point, and in this case, in the third version, all mention of Scream was removed from the card. It's simply Ghostface at the top, Ghostface on the side. There's no mention of Scream anywhere on the front of the card. So those are the three versions there. As far as I know, and as far as I can tell. There were no actual changes made to the figure itself. And the figure itself is kind of like a hybrid. Um, it's almost like a mixture between the movie version of Ghostface and the Fun World version of Ghostface. The streamers on the arm are very movie-like. Um, but the costume itself, the rest of the costume, is very Fun World costume-like. Um, the mask sculpt on that I think was amazing. It's one of the best I've seen on Ghostface in figure form till this day, the 1999 one. Um, and he came with an accessory of a cell phone and a large Bowie style hunting knife, not the Buck 120 knife that we've all known as Ghostface's weapon. Um, and the other thing that kind of was like thrown off that a lot of fans didn't like was that the boots were brown. Now this of course could have been something to do with the licensing Again, it's kind of tricky licensing with Ghostface. Essentially, you have Ghostface, the name and the image, which is owned by Fun World. And then you have Ghostface in the Scream films as the character in the films that's owned by Merrimax, Paramount, you know, whatever. Um, so there's very, like, fine lines and it's kind of tricky. The licensing is sort of tricky. Uh, I would not want RJ's job. I can tell you that right now. All right, next up was also in 1999, and that one is the Rest in Peace Horror Collector Series doll with recordable voice changer. Also a Spencer's exclusive and limited to 100,000 units, and it was actually numbered. Now that one I am going to show you physically because I do happen to have mine on display in this room. So this is it. This was the third time that Ghostface was released in figure form. Again numbered series mine is 9743 of 100,000 so it's about an 18 inch doll um mine doesn't work anymore because i've never taken it out of the box but it used to push on it you'd talk into it and when you'd let it go it would talk back in a deeper voice kind of resembling the voice changer uh aspect of uh ghost face in the scream film see it says scream all over but then on the back there is the story of Ghostface, which was written, uh, I believe, by Fun World. Um, so it gives you a nice little history of the mask on the back. Very cool, very cool piece. All right, so next up was in 2011. There was a big gap there, almost, almost 12 years before we got Ghostface in any sort of uh, figure form again. And that is the 2011 NECA Ghostface figure, which I'm proud to say I was a part of. I got the pleasure of working directly with NECA on this figure to make sure that some of the issues that fans had with the McFarlane figure, because they really wanted a figure that resembled Ghostface in the film, so I helped them and was able to work directly with them to try to make that happen as best as we could. Now, again, I do have these, of course, on display. So here it is. 2011 Ghostface as seen in Scream figure. Back there. And on the bottom here, again, 
very proud. At the bottom, special thanks. Fun World staff and Nate Reagan. Hey, that's me. Um, two versions of that figure were initially released in 2011. You have the standard white mask here. And you have the zombie ghost face here. Now, there is a third version of that figure that was released because fans were not really happy with the decision that NECA made to do a split figure. Basically, NECA, at the time, they really wanted to do a figure that had the sparkle. They really wanted to bring that out. They wanted to, the cloth to be like pliable with actual cloth. But there were just so many issues with doing that that they were running into. So they made the decision to do a half half and half figure. So the initial figures that were released had uh, cloth bottom, like from the waist down was cloth, and then everything from the top up was plastic. There was a lot of fans that did not like that. It didn't match. The, the blacks were actually, they were very different. I mean, I'm looking at it right now. It's very obvious. Um, and so they ended up not with the zombie, but with the white mask, they ended up doing a second run of those that were very limited, very hard to get your hands on. Um, that was full plastic. So they got rid of the cloth completely. So there is a third version of this figure out there that, and that's the harder one to find. Next up, also in 2011, we have the Scream 4 bobblehead by NECA. Again, this is the first time that Ghostface was released in actual bobblehead form. All right, guys, and then for the rest of these, this is where like the exact release dates and years kind of get tricky to figure out. Um, so we're not going to go into the years, and they're not necessarily in the exact release order. It's as close as we could get them for the video. But next, we have the Scream 4 Ghostface Racers. Uh, that were sold at Spirit of Halloween. These were little tiny pullback cars that had Ghostface, and he had a really cool action when you'd pull it back and he would go, the knife would move. Um, so that was the next version. Very, very cool. One of my favorite little pieces that Fun World uh, ever did. And next up, we have the Reaction Series Ghostface figure. Uh, th this is like the little tiny, almost like the old school, like Kenner star wars size like the old old action figure uh size uh ghost face really cool uh figure i do have one but it's actually opened um so this little guy right here uh and there there's actually two versions of the packaging online but from what i can tell only this version was released this version here was the prototype packaging that was not released. And next up, we have the NECA Cloth Scream 4 Ghostface. This was another brand new Ghostface figure. The first time he was released in a full cloth form as a figure. Um, and there's actually two versions of this as well. There's the original, which is Ghostface as seen on Scream 4 packaging and there's the newer one that you can actually still get in stores today which is the simple ghost face packaging all again all mention of scream has been removed um same figure same accessories but uh with ghost face only packaging then NECA released this which is part of their toonie terrors line they released a ghost face in that form as well next up we have the mezco living dead doll ghost face uh, this is part of Mezco's Living Dead Doll series. And next we have the NECA Ultimate Ghostface figure. Um, this is one of my favorites as well because it comes with so many swappable like weapons and hands and accessories and swappable heads. Such a cool figure. Love this figure. Next up we have the Ghostface Funny Plush by Kid Robot. And after that, we have the Ghostface Premium Format Figure by Sideshow. This is one of the first times that we got a premium Ghostface figure. Um, it, it is a little bit closer to the Fun World costume and look of Ghostface. However, the accessories, it does come with a buck knife, which obviously is what he uses in the film. But this is the first time that we got a premium format figure for Ghostface. Next, we have the plush Ghostface Mopies by Funko. And, of course, we have our standard Funko Pop version of 
ghost face as well as a funko pocket pop keychain and a funko mystery pop next we have the handmade by robots and there are a lot of variants so and they just keep adding them they keep making them so uh this is up to date as of today but rather than go through each individual variant because there's so many of them I'm just going to take a look at all the variants that are available right now on handmade by robots websites next up we have a bobblehead series by royal bobbles there are actually four different versions of these bobbleheads there is a regular uh, there's a regular version there is a glow-in-the-dark version there is a blood splatter version and there is a hot topic exclusive version which has Ghostface in a different pose and finally last on the list and this one has not been released yet but it is available for pre-order and it is set to be released next year in 2023 we have the premium one third yes one third scale Ghostface figure by premium collectible studios aka pcs and this thing is massive i cannot wait to get this thing this is the best looking ghost face in figure form i have ever seen ever look at these photos it's incredible the detail is incredible it's massive it's one third scale it, it it's going to be incredible just like the price tag of fourteen hundred dollars yes that's right fourteen hundred dollars but you know what they say you get what you pay for so I cannot wait to get that figure. And that's it, guys. That does it for the video. Um, to my knowledge, that's every time Ghostface has been released in figure form. Now, if I missed anything, call me out. Call me out in the comments. Um, let me know that I missed something, forgot something, whatever it is. Uh, le let me know. Um, also, you know, as always, make sure to like, share, subscribe this video. And I got a lot more Ghostface content and some other cool movie location content coming your way very soon. So thanks for watching, guys.